Hello everyone, this is Limpy welcoming you to the free MMORPG daily news update for Tuesday, December 18th, 2012. MechWarrior Online, the free mech shooter game from Piranha Games, has launched their latest and what they are calling their largest update to date. This latest update adds an all new conquest mode to the game, giving players a new mode to finally play other than Assault. In the new conquest mode, players will vie to capture five different locations. Each location that is captured will generate points for that player's team. The team with the most points wins. A new cadet bonus has been added to the game as well, giving new players a chance to get caught up a bit by making the first 25 matches of a new player's career worth more C-bills. For those new recruits, a bonus of just under 8 million C-bills will be rewarded after the 25 matches has been, have been completed. Existing players who have already played the full 25 matches will find a nice reward of approximately the same number of C-bills deposited into their account. Happy Holidays! Additionally, Trial Mechs will now generate the same amount of C-bills and experience as normal mechs. On the new mech side of things, two all-new hero mechs have been added, the Twin Dragons, Flame and Fang. Also, the all-new Stalker has been added to the game, and players will find five variations of this 85-ton monster in the mech garage. A new map, an improved reward system, and many other changes and additions have also been introduced with this latest update. District 187, the free shooter from CJ Games Global, launched an all-new content update to the game today. This first massive update adds three new maps to the game, a new holiday-themed weapons and characters, and an all-new minigame arcade. Players looking to check out the new maps will find S2 Towers, White Knight, and Viper Room are now ready for action, each with their own theme and settings. These maps will have a holiday theme for now, but once the holidays are over, they will return to a traditional look and feel. The Marble Land Mini Arcade will allow players to earn golden items through games designed to give players a break from the all-out carnage of the streets. L Sword, the free side-scrolling action MMORPG from Killer Combo, has added an all-new job class to the game today. The Sheath Knight is a dual-wielding warrior who specializes in lightning-fast melee attacks and relentless combos. Expect this new class to come with several special abilities as well. Some of these special abilities include Harsh Chaser, which will harpoon an enemy and pull them in for the attack, and also Swordfall, which is a flurry of blades meant to rain damage upon your opponent. The Sheath Knight is the first of several planned job classes being introduced over the next month to Elsword, and players can expect these changes to reshape the way they play the game in both PvE and PvP. Blacklight Retribution, the free shooter from Perfect World Entertainment, is giving us all new details on the upcoming World's End update that will go live after this week's scheduled maintenance. The update will add new content and features to the game. Players can expect all new maps, Decay and Trench, an all new hero, Kronos, who will be able to hack control nodes much more quickly, as well as lay down auto turrets and HRV decoys. There will also be an all-new assault bot armed with a rapid-fire assault rifle to rack up kills for its owner. New weapons are always a good thing, and this time around, the all-new Snubnose Revolver will be added to the game. Now that's all for today, but for more info on all these titles, head on over to MMODen.com. Don't forget to come check out my live streaming on Twitch TV at twitch.tv forward slash MMODen to earn a chance each day to win one of our three weekly prizes given away each and every Monday. For now, this is Limpy for MMODen. Until next time, thanks for watching.